guys I don't know how I forgot to talk about my Sintra but here she is uh, a beautiful orange blossom neroli milky caramelly fragrance um, this is actually aside from neroli blanc intense and Jardins de la Rangée, um, this is like my first orange blossom love and uh, I absolutely love the creaminess the sweetness the gourmandness of Sintra and uh, yeah I don't know how I forgot to talk about it uh, it wasn't on my tray uh, anyway this one should have been number one anyway y'all all right bye bye enjoy the video okay go get some tea coffee whatever it is uh, but go ahead and enjoy the video bye bye hey everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Marcy thank you for clicking on that thumbnail always showing up showing your girl some love you all I have been loving a certain or certain notes um, and a fragrance like lately kind of like obsessed with the scent you know I love sweet fragrances I love gourmands so this just gives me the floral aspect of it and then kind of sweeten with gourmands as well so we're going to be talking about the flower of orange blossom neroli today um, it all comes from the same tree orange blossom neroli uh, petit grain or petite grain however you want to pronounce it so I like love all three in fragrances um, uh, it comes from the same tree, but they're all processed different. So uh, we can get all of this goodness, uh, you know, from one tree. So if you are interested in the most amazing, slightly feminine Laney, but I do have some unisex fragrances as well, Neroli, uh, Orange Blossom, Pettigrain uh, fragrances in my collection, please continue to watch, you know, subscribe, go follow your girl on Instagram, turn on those notification bells, all that good stuff. And let's get started with the very first one. But first, I want you to leave me down in the comments your scent of the day. And if you have a favorite uh, Neroli Orange Blossom uh, Green Petite Green scent, leave me that down in the comments as well. You know, I love receiving recommendations from all of you. And y'all, yeah, let's get this party started. So the very first thing I'm gonna tell you guys today is my scent of the day. Um, y'all, this fragrance was not a love at first sniff. I blind purchased it based on a recommendation from the late Carlos and Steven at Red Adolescence. I watched a video years ago and they talked about uh, Cruz del Sur 2, which was slightly gourmand leaning. Um, it was kind of like a creamy mango milkshake. So yesterday, I haven't worn this fragrance in years, y'all, not to pick it up and sniff it. Uh, my juice, of course, has gotten a little more concentrated and dark. I think you'll probably see this on my review many years ago. Um, you know, what, maybe like the 10th review that I've done on Instagram. I think I have about 400 now. So, um, I mean, on YouTube, I have about 400 now. So, this fragrance, or maybe even more is considered slightly gourmand leaning, but a woody floral gourmand scent. Uh, there's mango in here. I think there may be guava in here, but I know there's mango in here for sure. There's pineapple in here. There's some woody notes. There's vetiver. Um, it smells a little tropical, kind of like slight coconutty, but I think that's coming from the milk. Um, and there's some floral notes in here as well. It's not a very prominent floral note. But in the end, this fragrance smells like, in the opening, there's some dried fruits in here as well. Now, when I initially purchased this fragrance, I got like a little bit of like a, um, like a boozy fruitcake, like a boozy mango rancid kind of fruitcake because the milk wasn't giving very much, you know, a couple of years ago. But right now, you guys, this fragrance is giving a fruity life. It's giving tropical life. It's giving all of that. And I absolutely love it. Basically, I smell like a milkshake today. Um, this is giving like it initially it wasn't I didn't get the green notes as much but as this has sat the green notes um, the leafy notes are really coming out in this fragrance so I get a and it's not giving like leaf green leafy green it's giving green mango skin like an unripened green mango skin you know that mango that is all green but it's completely ripened in, ripened inside it's very tropical and exotic uh, I think I buy them from the, the Filipino store 
or um, an exotic store, an exotic fruit store, but you can't find it in any store. Actually, I bought it from Whole Foods. It's all green. It looks like it's not ripened. That is what this uh, scent is giving me. That skin is very green, but the mango flesh inside is super sweet and juicy, you guys. Um, it's also giving milky, a uh, green mango milkshake, you guys. Um, and I'm absolutely loving it. I also layered this, and I won't be, I'm talking like four minutes on my scent of the day. Um, I also layered this with Bianco Latte, which is a vanilla, it's coumarin, it's honey, it's caramel, and there's milk in here. Um, so yeah, I literally smell like a creamy, caramelly, honeyed mango milkshake. Delicious. Get your nose on both of these. I love this one. This is in my top 10 gourmands for life. It's gorgeous. Um, and this one I am loving even more today. All right. So let's get with our orange blossom fragrances. So the very first one that I'm going to talk about is completely unisex. Um, I wore this like a, maybe like three or four times, like two years ago, but I'm falling back in love with it again. It's actually on my Macari and I need to take it down ASAP. Uh, I haven't worn it. Actually, you don't need a lot of this, uh, but I haven't worn it in the past couple of years, but maybe like four sprays of this is pretty beast mode. Beast mode. So this is pretty much a Neroli scent, but it definitely gives you a little bit of that powdery neroli more greenness a little aromatic a little earthy but i love this completely unisex maybe slightly lean and masculine but you do get a slight powdery orange blossomness but more of the neroli in this fragrance very fresh very aromatic you know um, I love it. And this is uh, Tom Ford's. This is one of the few Tom Ford fragrances that I do love. The other ones are a little more vanillic and heavy, but um, this is the only fresh aromatic Tom Ford fragrance that I have in my collection. And this is a uh, Neroli Portofino. I love it. It's coming off of Macari, y'all. I'm keeping it, okay? Because I've fallen in love with Neroli Orange Blossom all over again. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about, and I'm going to go in order um, so I don't forget anything, um, is Nuda Veritas. Uh, Nuda Veritas is a very fresh, slightly, actually, it's very unisex, but it gives you a little solarness, you know, there's the ambroxan in here. There's ambergris in here. There's that powderiness of the orange blossom in here. But this is more of a fresh orange blossom. Um, in here, you have your um, salon. You have your ambroxan, oak, oak moss, and bergamot. Um, so I love this fragrance. This actually reminds me of another 13 with a little more citruses on top because you definitely get those citruses and the ambroxan in this fragrance. But you also get that a little bit of that sweet powderiness from the orange blossom as well, you guys. Anyway, Nuda Veritas by the House of Atelia Disoris. Get your nose on this. And the bottle's gorgeous, right? Yes. All right, so the next one is uh, Saffinade. Um, Saffinade is by Parfums de Marly. This one is more of a sophisticated orange blossom, luxurious orange blossom. Maybe you want to dress up. Um, this is not a really in-your-face orange blossom. It's a little subdued. Um, it's very sensual, sexy. Um, in this, you have your Elong Elong, which you get to help slightly brighten up the orange blossom. There's jasmine in here. Um, there's also vanilla, and it's a little ambery as well. Um, a very beautiful orange blossom, gorgeous bottle as well. Um, I do wear this alone, but literally smell like a ambery, slightly vanillic orange blossom. This is not too sweet. It's not too powdery. It's a little more fresh, airy, and amber, you guys. Get your nose on it. Saffinon by Parfums de Marly. All right, the next one, actually, I already talked about it, Neroli Portofino. Neroli Portofino also has um, a beautiful note of African orange flower inside as well, you guys. I love my African orange flower. And speaking of African orange flower, let's talk about uh, an, a beautiful orange blossom Neroli fragrance. Um, and that is my Donna Trussardi, which has the note of jasmine. There's a beautiful jasmine in here. There's a tea note in here as well. Um, there's orange blossom. There's some fruity notes in here. Uh, and like I said, there's African orange flower and um, it's beautiful. And there's some yuzu in here as well, you guys. So yeah, I love, I love the original Trusardi as well. Um, I think the original Trusardi also, it doesn't have orange blossom in there, but it has the yuzu, the jasmine, the citruses, but this one is slightly powdery and you get a really good jasmine in here with the citruses and a little bit of that orange blossom. 
You guys, this is so good. This is the, um, the other one is the EDP. This is the Parfum version of Donna Trussardi. But this is so good. You can wear this fragrance all year long. It's slightly woody, a little musky, but you get those citruses, the orange blossom, and the beautiful jasmine in here, y'all. You guys, I think I've talked about True Sardi. Like this fragrance is a love for me. This fragrance was my most watched YouTube review back then. I don't know about right now, but then this fragrance review got so many hits. I stumbled upon this fragrance about five years ago on Instagram and I saw the bottle. I don't, it was like a, I don't, I don't even think the person's on Instagram anymore. Um, I saw the bottle, so I just blind purchased it. I was like, oh, that bottle's cute, you know? It was white and gold, you know? I was looking for white and gold bottles. I don't know why, uh, but I love a good, I love a beautiful bottle. And uh, when I purchased it, I fell completely in love. I will link that review actually down below um, so you guys can watch it. It is so funny. Um, and my reaction to the original Donna Trussardi. And then I will actually also link my, I've gotten into a ton of other Trussardis as well. I did a Trussardi haul. So I will link the two Trussardi videos down below you guys. Funny videos, amazing as well. Get your nose on these Trussardi fragrances. I love them. Um, Anyway, this is beautiful. Beautiful orange blossom, citrusy yuzu, slightly tea, but not a heavy tea fragrance. Uh, but y'all, I'm gonna stop talking about Trusardi because I love her. Um, she's amazing, okay? Get your nose on it. So the next one we have is a beautiful orange blossom tuberose. Um, this is my favorite Linter D fragrance excuse me, by the house of Givenchy. Um, I do love Linter de Rouge. That one smells a little more sweet, bubble gummy. You get the pimento um, in there as well. It is actually sweeter than this one. I love the original EDT of Linter D more than I like the EDP. So this one, Rouge, the EDT, then the EDP. But this one is the Orange Blossom Tube Rose and it has a sesame note. You get a prominent note of orange blossom in this fragrance. It's a very light tuberose, but that orange blossom makes it a little powdery, not bubblegummy like the uh, Linter de Rouge to me. But that sesame in here kicks it up a notch, and I absolutely love the sesame note in this fragrance. Um, I get so many compliments when I do wear this fragrance, and it's completely addicting. Um, this is like one of my favorite orange blossom tuberose scents, and I love it, y'all. Linter de Givenchy, the intense version in the black bottle. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about is Dior Addict, you guys. Um, like I said, I think on another review that I just did, um, this is giving old money vibes. This is giving rich auntie vibes. Um, if you know, you know. I love Dior Addict. It will always be in my collection. Um, it's a beautiful white floral fragrance. Almost slightly gourmand lainy because of the vanilla, but the jasmine in here, y'all. Ooh, and the orange blossom in here is giving life, okay? Um, let me wipe the bottle off. It's gorgeous. Um, there's several different versions of this fragrance. Uh, but in the end, in here, you have your blackberry, you have some tuberose, I mean some white florals, orange blossom, you have some jasmine, you have some vanilla, and it's ambery as well, you guys. But that vanilla orange blossom in here, it is giving life, and it's giving not vintage, but it's just giving rich vibes, you guys. Absolutely love it, Dior Addict, get your nose on it. I love this stuff. All right, so the next one we're going to go with is Paradox. Uh, Paradox is a new fragrance to my collection. I purchased this one last year. Um, I don't have very many designer fragrances. And actually, this is my, I decluttered my other Prada fragrance. But this is my only Prada fragrance I have in my collection. So in here, you have a beautiful note of orange blossom. You have, um... Some vanilla, you have a very prominent note of pear and tangerine in here. But the orange blossom just adds more character to those juicy fruits in this fragrance. 
you get some beautiful jasmine in here as well, but you definitely get a prominent note of orange blossom, jasmine, and some fruits in this fragrance. Love it. Uh, very mainstream, very likable fragrance. Uh, this will be an easy fragrance to wear, an easy reach. Um, if you like designer fragrances or that designer nuance or scent, nothing too heavy, very office friendly. You might, or this could actually be a wedding scent as well. Maybe like an outdoor wedding scent, a very, in a very relaxed, um, you know, um, what do you call it? Venue, you know? Um, so you might want to, you know, wear this fragrance. So anyway, this is Prada Paradox. Okay. All right, so the next one is Neroli Blanc Intense. Um, this is a beautiful, uh, this is new to my collection. Um, there's some beautiful citruses, vanilla, it's really ambery. Lots and lots of Neroli and orange blossom, you guys, in this fragrance. This literally smells like a candied Neroli orange blossom um, candy, like a hard candy sugar coated crunchy orange blossom neroli candy but you definitely get those citruses but it's sweet it's juicy it's gourmand leaning almost get some florals in here as well um oh there's rose in here so you do get like a candied rose in here as well you guys but it's such a stunning fragrance and I'm so glad to have this in my collection. If I had to do a top 10 uh, Neroli Orange Blossom fragrance, um, fragrance scent collection or review, this would definitely be in my top 10. This would actually be in my top five, you guys. I love this. Get your nose on it. I think Abby, or she still has a... Um, a for this company she has an abby 10 discount fragrance um so i will try to remember to link that down below but i think it's abby 10 to get 10 percent off on the neroli blanc intense fragrances y'all um get your nose on it this is gorgeous this is this is actually amazing you guys get your nose on it all right, so the next one we're gonna talk about is one that I actually recently obtained. Um, and this one has orange blossom, there's milk. Um, this is Jardins de Metzva, not Jardins de Metzva. This is, um, you guys have Jardins de Metzva on my mind so much because everybody is talking about it. But by the way, I like Jardins de Metzva, but there was Jardins de Metzva, um, I do have it. It was giving me, it's giving me like, a little bit of like cleaner vibes, you know? I do get the plum, the floral notes, the fruitiness of it, but I'm also getting something in there that's giving me like a clean soapiness, almost like a detergent scent. Now it does dry, um, as it dries down, it does fade away after about 30 minutes, but in the opening, that is what I got. And I didn't get that when I sampled it initially. But anyway, I already have it. So back to, um, oh, how could I forget this name? Uh, Jardin de la Orange, Jardins de la Orange. That's how you pronounce it. <laughs> so anyway, in here you have your, um, you have some sandalwood, neroli, jasmine, orange blossom, and milk. Um, there's a greenness to this fragrance as well. And it's almost giving me, that's only in the opening, but when it dries down, it dries down to a fluffy, almost marshmallowy, powdery, um, neroli and orange blossom. I think last time I said it almost reminds me of an orange blossom cotton candy, orange blossom neroli cotton candy. But it's a gorgeous scent and I absolutely love it. I almost purchased another, um, a backup bottle of this, but I was like, no, because I got tons of orange blossom fragrances. Uh, but it gives you a fluffy, fluffy orange blossom marshmallowy. Um, I'm making all these words up. Uh, marshmallowy, orange blossomy, uh, fluffy. Um, fragrance and I absolutely love it but you don't need a lot of this it lasts for about eight hours and um, it's a beautiful fragrance Jardins de l'orange you guys by the house of um, uh, where's my brain today <laughs> by the house of Dries Van Noten um, anyway you guys get your nose on this fragrance I, I also heard if you didn't see my post I also heard that um, they have this fragrance at Saks uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. They have it at Saks Fifth Avenue and they have it at Bergdorf. And if you sign up at Bergdorf or Saks, I think you get like 10 or 15% off um, of your initial sign up, y'all. So that's a way to get like some type of discount on Dries Van Noten fragrances because they're hard to find. 
All right, the next we're going to talk about is Love and Love Extreme. We all know these are beautiful. Um, and Love Don't Be Shy, there's Neroli. Um, there's Orange Blossom in both, but I don't think there's Neroli and Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. But they literally smell the same. Um, in here, you have your Marshmallow. Oh, um, you don't have Marshmallow and Love Don't Be Shy Extreme as well. You have your, I think there's Caramel and Love Don't Be Shy. No, and Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, there's Marshmallow. And Love Don't Be Shy, the original, there's Caramel. So Marshmallow and Extreme and Caramel and the original. They both have Orange Blossom. And I think the original has Neroli as well because it gives you that sharp Neroli in the original. Um, but like I said, uh, in extreme, there's bergamot. There's bergamot in both. And in extreme, there's rose. But they literally smell the same, you know? One just gives you more of a rosy aspect and not so sweet. And the original love gives you more of a neroli aspect and super sweet. Or a neroli nuance and super sweet. Rosy, marshmallow, orange blossom. And this one is neroli um caramel and orange blossom but the original love is definitely sweeter than the extreme you guys this one's a little more dressed up upscale because of the floral notes or the rose in this fragrance y'all but i love them both um the neroli sometimes bothers me in the opening of this fragrance for about an hour but then as as it dries down it becomes beautiful as well you guys anyway get your nose on these fragrances um, we all know the infamous, not the infamous, I don't want to get in trouble with somebody on here, um, the most loved Black Opium. I decide to choose Black Opium Blanche Nuit. Um, this has a beautiful note of orange blossom. The new one, Le Parfum, has orange blossom and a ton of vanilla in there. Um, the original has orange blossom coffee. They all pretty much have the same notes, but like I said, the Le Parfum um, gives you a little more vanilla. Um, this one gives you of a more latte, a caramel sweetened latte with orange blossom. Um, this one's actually... I don't know between this one and Le Parfum. Um, this one's hard to find now. Um, between this one and Le Parfum, those two are like my favorites so far. And then I've tried, I do have the chocolate one, which is the extreme. Um, love that one too. I don't wear either, like, I don't wear any of them. I haven't reached for them, but I've reached for this one more, I think, twice than the other ones. You know, um, yeah that I can remember, you guys. Um, anyway, this is Blanche Nuit, uh, Black Opium Blanche Nuit, but definitely Black Opium as a whole has a beautiful note of orange blossom, tuberose, coffee, cacao, um, just beautiful white florals inside, you guys. Get your nose on it. All right, so the next one is Addictive Vibrations, and I don't know why I didn't bring that fragrance with me, but I apparently I forgot it. But Addictive Vibrations has a beautiful note of orange blossom, honey, there's apple blossom in there as well. Um, it's a little ambery, it's vanillic, it's creamy. Um, in that fragrance, I have a full bottle of Addictive Vibrations by the House of Initio. Um, I'm not gonna edit this video to go get it, but I love it. It almost gives me just orange blossom, it gives me honey, and it gives me like a green apple. I love it. It gives you that a little bit of that creamy, ambery nuance as well. But I love that fragrance. Now on to the next. Let's talk about Oriana. Okay, so Oriana, another one by the House of Parfums de Marley. Um, this one gives me, it's good. It gives me citruses. It gives me that whipped creamy Chantilly cream. Um, it gives me a beautiful note of orange blossom. It's sweet. Um, I think there's black currant in here as well. You get that slightly, but mainly in this fragrance, I get a burst of citruses or mandarin. I get... I even smell it now, and I just took the top off. Um, I get that Chantilly cream, that marshmallow, and a beautiful note of orange blossom. This is amazing. This is an amazing fragrance. If you wear this in the summertime, I would definitely recommend wearing this at night because it can be a little uh, a little cloying in the heat. But I love. Um, um, I love this fragrance, Oriana, if I didn't say the name. Um, initially, I wasn't going to purchase it because I was like, not another marshmallow fragrance. Uh, but this one actually gives you more citruses on top of the marshmallow and definitely a good dose of that Chantilly cream, which is one of my favorite cakes. Um, if you've never tried the Chantilly cream, 
cake from Whole Foods, you need to try it. It tastes so natural um, and so fresh with the berries, the blueberries, the strawberries, the blackberries in here. Um, that is what this, uh, this, this fragrance is giving me that cake on top of some citruses, y'all. Anyway, um, this is Parfums de Marley. Oriana, get your nose on it. All right, the next one is one that has a prominent note of tuberose, but the orange blossom in here makes it super creamy, slightly sweetened, sophisticated, pink pepper. Um, and this is no other than Rouge Malachite. Rouge Malachite. <laughs> anyway, I love this fragrance, but you definitely get, I get all of the orange blossom and the warm spiciness, you know, from the pink pepper. Y'all, this is my favorite tuberose fragrance, if you don't know. But I had to put this in here because I do get a hefty dose of orange blossom in this fragrance. You know, I think it's in the heart of the fragrance, but I love it, y'all. It's gorgeous. Um, it's a lifer for me, a top 10 for life if I ever had one, you guys. Anyway, get your nose on it. Orange blossom, tuberose, warm, spicy. Um, I'd wear this all year long, even in the heat. Okay, I just would spray a little lighter, not so heavy, but I love this. Rouge Maliki by the House of Armani Privé. All right, um, next we have one that doesn't have the note of orange blossom, but it has a lot of combining notes in here. Uh, but it smells just like Love Don't Be Shy, uh, minus the Neroli. I actually like this one more than Love Don't Be Shy. In here, um, it's so funny because this one has grapes inside. This is Unique um, Luxury Istanbul. Um, I've given like 10 ml of this fragrance away, but I have worn a hefty dose of this fragrance. Um, it's definitely more affordable. It's so funny because I bought my daughter Centra as well. My daughter's like, mom, Centra smells like it has grapes or something in there. It reminds her of a grape medicine, she said, or grapes. So this fragrance does not have orange blossom in there. Centra does not have grapes in there. Uh, but this one has grapes, grapes, and Centra has orange blossom. So maybe grapes as a note in perfumery, gives you the nuance of orange blossom, which is really crazy uh, because, I mean, I've heard of cotton candy grapes, but I don't think they use cotton candy grapes as a note in perfumery. Uh, but this one has, um, yeah, the note of grapes inside, but this smells, Istanbul is basically a replica of Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. You get 100 mLs versus uh, 50 mLs, and it's super affordable. And if you don't like the note of Neroli or that prominent note of Neroli in the original Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, then you need to try Istanbul. It's gorgeous. I love it, you guys. Um, get your nose on it. Unique Luxury, no orange blossom listed, but... It smells love orange blossom. It's a du it's basically almost a dupe for Killian's Love Don't Be Shy minus the Neroli. So anyway, um, we're gonna talk about C. This is discontinued, but I see it every now and then. Um, this is Giorgio Armani C. Um, this is a beautiful note of orange blossom, black currant, sandalwood. It's sweet, it's creamy, and I absolutely love it, you guys. Get your nose on this. Initially, I purchased like the 100 ml bottle and I didn't like it and I gave it away, but I wore it, I bought it and wore it over in Ghana and it was way too cloying, you guys. So I gave it away because I couldn't stand it in the heat, but then I wanted to, I, I ran across a sample or something. So, and I was back at home in California. Um, and I was like, oh, this smells good. Why did I give my bottle a bottle away? I'm, I'm glad I gave it away to a lovely friend over there. Uh, but I repurchased the 50 ml and I absolutely love it. Like it's a fruity orange blossom. You get a little bit of that black currant. Um, it's musky, a little woody. Y'all, I love this fragrance. C Fiore by the House of Armani. Um, the next, um, if you did not know, Mason Margiela uh, Coffee Break has a beautiful note of orange blossom inside and you completely get it. Um, it makes that coffee a little powdery. You get the lavender in here as well, uh, but you get the lavender, you get the coffee, you get the vanilla in here and it's beautiful, y'all. Get your nose on Coffee Break. This is one of my um, favorite and first coffee fragrances in my collection and I absolutely love it. This would definitely make my, I think it has made my top 10 coffee fragrances uh, in my entire collection, but I love it. I actually combined this with matcha meditation one day when I went to the gym and it was gorgeous. It smells so good, you guys. All right, the next uh, we have is by the House of Benevolence. Um, this is definitely a beautiful orange blossom. 
It also gives you Killian loves don't be shy, love don't be shy. But this one smells, I think there's iris in here. So this one's a little heavier on the iris, uh, more of a powdery, irisy orange blossom. But if you like Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, without the without the neroli, this is less sweet, it's less cloying, then get your nose on the House of Siage Benevolence, you guys. Gorgeous fragrance. The next one needs no introduction. Uh, beautiful notes of peony, lychee, orange blossom. Let's talk about them both at the same time. Um, Flora Narcotique, the X-Trade and the EDP. Gorgeous, gorgeous, powdery. This one is definitely much stronger, a little more powdery um, or creamy, not powdery, a little more creamy, less fruity. This one, you get more of the fruits in there, uh, but beautiful fragrances. If you love the note of like a fruity, creamy, slightly orange blossom, this is the much sexier sister of the EDP. Get your nose on it. Floor Narcotique by the House of Ex Nihilo. I am in love with this one. I love this one. And I am in love with this one. When I want to dress up, um, definitely this is not for the summer. This one is for the summer. This one um, you might want to wear in the cooler weathers because it may become a little cloying. It's very... Um, it's super creamy, slightly powdery, and very sweet. Um, so you might want to reserve this one for the summer and this one for the fall, winter, and the spring, y'all. I've rocked this one a couple of times and I was in love with myself, you guys. Um, anyway, uh, Ex Nihilo, Flor Narcotique. All right, that is all of my orange blossoms. I actually had a couple more, but this video is too long, you guys. Anyway, go out to the world, spread amazing, see Ash, do good, be good all of that. And like I said, let me know what your favorite orange blossom note is down in the comments. Love you guys. Bye-bye.